Hello, Bacha. Let's read the given question. And the question states that the mean deviation from the mean of observation a a plus d a plus 2d and so on up to a plus 2 and d is option 1 n into n plus 1 divided by 3 multiplied by d squared option 2 n into n plus 1 d squared divided by 2 option 3 a plus n into n plus 1 d squared divided by 2 option 4 n into n plus 1 mode of d divided by 2 n plus 1 but the key concept to solve this question is Suppose we have been given a series like a, a plus d, a plus 2d and so on up to a plus nd. So you make series d over here or we can write a plus nd as l where l is the last term of this series. So here we can in sare terms the common difference. So we can write first term or the first term is that is a or sare terms mein jo common difference hai, that is d or jo last term hai is hum log likh rahe hain l se aur ye jo series hai agar common difference same ho sare terms mein to ye jo series hoti hai is series ko hum log kehte hain arithmetic progression series aur ise hum log ap se bhi denote karte hain to agar kaisa koi series ho then in series ki agar sum find karni ho so we can directly write sn that is sum of n terms of ap is equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by first term plus last term so here total number of term is equal to capital n so the number total number of terms hai wo n hai so directly we can write sn means sum of n terms equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by a plus l so now agar hume mean find karni ho kisi bhi observation ki so we use this formula that is summation of x i where i is varying from 1 to n and then divided by n where summation of x i is sum of all the observation and n is the total number of observation similarly agar deviation find karni ho about mean that is given by mode of x i minus x bar so this mean is represented by x bar and x i is the individual observation value so here also we will use all this concept here to solve this given question so we have a given series there that is a a plus d a plus 2d so on up to a plus 2 and d so here we can write the first term that is a so first term ko a se denote karte hain aur yahan value bhi a hi given hai similarly common difference agar find kare then common difference is also d last term dekhe then last term that is l is equal to a plus 2 and d or total number of terms dekhe to that is equal to number of term that is capital N is equal to 2N plus 1. So, ye hume given data hai. So, isi data se hume mean deviation find karni hai. So, mean nikalne ke liye pahle hume sum find karni hogi and then uski mean nikal sakte hai and then we will find the deviation. So, sum of the given series is so, hum log isse S consider kar lete hai. So, S will be equal to N by 2 multiplied by a plus l this s will be equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by 2 and then this is a plus last term jo hai, that is a plus 2nd so yeah a plus a 2a ho jayi or plus 2nd means 2 so dono terms se 2 common lene then we will get s is equal to 2n plus 1 multiplied by a plus and so yeah, I mean, now mean is equal to that is x bar equal to sum divided by total sum divided by number of terms so total sum jo hai, that is 2 and plus 1 multiplied by a plus and d or the total number of terms hai, that is capital n ye hai, 2 and plus 1 so yeah, 2 and plus 1 2 and plus 1 cancel ho jayegi, and we will get 
mean that is x bar equal to a plus n d. So, हमने mean find कर लिया है, अब हमें mean deviation find करनी है. So, mean deviation is equal to individual observation minus mean and this is summation and this whole will be divided by total number of terms. So, yeah, I जो है, that will be varying from 1 to 2n plus 1. So, we can write this as 1 divided by n की value में put कर देते हैं, 2n plus 1. So, now we can write this as first element is a, a minus and then x bar is a plus n d plus second term is a plus d minus a plus n d plus and so on up to mode of a plus 2 n d that is the last term minus x bar is a plus n d so ye hume mean deviation find kar liya so if we solve this then we will get 1 divided by 2 and plus 1 so yaan se a or a cancel ho jayegi and we will get n d so this will become n d plus similarly this term may be taken a or a cancel ho jayegi and we will get d minus n d so agar d ko common le le or then we can write this as d times n minus 1 so yaan mode hai then we can either we can write d into 1 minus n or n minus 1 so both are same similarly we can write this as d into n minus 2 plus so on or ek beech mein aisa term aayegi jab yahan pe iski value jo ho jayegi that is 0 and then this will be d plus 2d plus so on up to n d so last term jo hai that is a or a cancel ho jayegi 2 n d mein se n d subtract karenge then we will get n d so yahan se agar hum log d ko common le le since ye sare terms pe mode hai so yahan se agar hum log mode of d ko common le le then we will get 2n plus 1 time here we will get 1 plus 2 plus and so on up to n and then take term jo bhi between that is 0 and then again this will be plus 1 plus 2 and so on up to n so yeh series hoi so is mein hum log dekhe yeh kya hai 1 se n tak ki summation series hai and then again 1 se n tak ki summation ki series hai so this mean deviation will be equal to mod of d divided by 2n plus 1 or since do do series hai eki 1 to n sum ki so agar hum log 2 common le le and then we can write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on up to n ek series rahe ge so sum of n terms of natural number is given by n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so iske liye hum log iski value likh sakte hai and then this is multiplied by 2 and this is mod of d divided by 2n plus 1 so yahan se ye 2 or 2 cancel ho jayegi and we will get n into n plus 1 multiplied by mod of d divided by 2n plus 1 therefore finally we can write that mean deviation for the given series is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 multiplied by mode of d so this is our final answer of the given question and if we see the options given then option 4 is our correct choice i hope you understood the solution best of luck thank you